Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming. We're going to pick up right pretty much where we left off and continue working on the armory. And then as soon as we get the armory done or mostly done, then we're going to switch gears a little bit and get going on the elevator so we can so I can update the game. Because uh, when you guys pointed out to me in the comments that uh, Subquake has come out with the stable version of the next update... And uh, so, yeah, I want to I want to get uh, updated and then that's going to change a few other things, too. Like we'll have more stations to upgrade and stuff like that. But it should be a lot of fun. And the enemies that uh, that were that, you know, he's added to the game. Those are going to be crazy, too, like the giant scorpions and stuff. Uh, all right. So and we're living in the wasteland, too. So <laughs> it's just going to be interesting. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> My goodness. <clears throat> all right. Let's get at it here. So. Uh, first order of business, I guess, uh, let's do a little bit of painting in the room there. So I want to grab the, yeah, I want to grab the paint here. We should have a decent amount of paint. And we'll get our brush. And we're also going to need some blocks. Um, I only have one concrete block okay so yeah we need more concrete blocks do i have any cement in here what about here we have 215 i need to actually get going on some cement though because we have plenty of stone powder um so yeah let's do that let's get you guys cooking up on some cement it looks like sand is our our lowest item so I'm going to grab some uh, firewood out of here. And we'll split this up between the two forges. Put a little bit of that in there. Let's see, we can do 733. That's going to use all of our sand. Um, Do we use sand for anything else? Sand is hard to come by an undead legacy. I mean, comparatively. Um. Okay. I don't think any of this other stuff. Oh yeah, we needed to make the concrete mix itself, right? Okay. All right. So then, what we're gonna do instead of let's just make say two hundred in here, and that's gonna require five minutes ish of burn time. I think that'll be good enough. And then we'll do 200 here. Okay. Yeah, because I want to save the rest of that sand to make the actual concrete. And then we'll take the concrete mix that we currently have um, and go over to the artisan table and make ourselves some more concrete blocks. It's going to be about, it's going to be time for me to go do some more mining here. Um, because we've got um, we got enough iron plating, just barely have enough iron plating made to make the elevators. So we need we need 300 per elevator. I'm making the six-story elevator. Oh, but we got more ingots and and we got some steel. Okay, we're not in terrible shape on the metal, uh, but it's the sand that's going to be yeah going to be the kicker. I don't know. Do you, do you guys happen to know in the new update? Did he make it so so we can actually make sand or not? I don't know. Uh, let's put some temporary lantern lighting in here. Now the other thing you guys told me in the update too is um, these will require batteries moving forward. So yeah, that'll be and that means we'll we'll probably have to prioritize getting our lighting, our actual hardwired lighting in. Um, yeah. Well, man, hmm, I don't know. Maybe I should do that before. Well, we're going to do the elevators next regardless, and then maybe we'll do the lighting, and then we'll do the update for that very reason. Otherwise, we'll probably lose these lights. I don't know how difficult it is to make batteries for them, nor how long they last. So, uh, okay, what did I come in here for? We came in here for something. I don't remember now. I, I looked in here. Oh, lights. Yeah, right. We were just talking about lights. Duh. <laughs> okay. 
Let's just grab the lanterns for now because it gives us a quick and easy source of light. And we'll just pop a few of these up on the ceiling uh, for now. Let's do an on face. We'll put one there. One there. We can't get really get one up there effectively because these other lights are in the way. They're going to have to come out regardless. So I don't think I can wire to them without re making them and resetting them. I think let's confirm that because if we can, maybe we leave them in place. No, it's not. Uh, it's like these. I had to take those out and reset them because if we look at them, we should see the the option, you know, to the five watt thingamadoodle there. Okay, so yeah, those have to come out regardless. Get a few electrical parts in the process. All right, and then do an on face. There we go. Okay, now we have some light in here. Beautiful. Um, oh. Oh, 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 oh. We don't want to use up all our concrete mix. Wait, uh, yep, yeah, stop. <laughs> I mean, we'll be able to make more, but still, yeah. Okay, so we'll get that repaired. Um, yeah, I think I'm, um, I think I'm gonna leave <coughs> Gazuntite. I think I'm gonna leave this room in exactly the way it is in terms of its structure, but we are gonna redecorate it and that sort of thing. If I recall correctly, when we were clearing the Deshong Tower many, many episodes ago. Um, I was killed in this room. <laughs> I tried to retreat to here, and I and the zombies got me. Um, okay, let's make some more concrete mix because we're gonna need it. Well, that's just about done. You got a little bit ways, uh, a little bit longer to go. Okay, so we'll turn all that into mix. Uh, we made that door too, right? Yes, we did. All right, so. Let's grab that. Okay. Um, we should be able to... To do... Start working in here without having to... Uh, and we can repair the rest of it later. Okay, so this door... It's going to go... Oh, that thing's big. Oh, that is cool looking though. Um, that's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Okay, why isn't it? There's something that's preventing it from going back. I wonder if it's this shelf here. I didn't realize this door was this big, though, so this is going to change things a little bit in terms of how this room is set up. Uh, it basically, what that means, I think, is... Uh, I guess if we just take this, these two blocks out here. Is that what I want to do, though? I... Uh, I think so. Yeah. Okay, because then it'll fit right in this slot. All right, let's take these blocks out. Yeah, I thought this was just like a normal size, you know, two, one by two door, one by two block size door, but apparently not. Okay. 
Um, and yeah, that's where we'll fit it. If I set this down, can I pick it back up again? Probably we can. Guess we're gonna find out, huh? No, we can't. Okay. <laughs> that's fine. That that's where I was gonna I was planning on putting it anyway. Um okay. So inside the vault. Let's decide what it's gonna look like in there. In terms of painting, um, I think we'll, I kind of have, you know, a, a, a steel look, uh, or idea in mind here. It should be all like steel in here. So what do we got? What kind of options do we have? Yeah. Like the, just the steel wall. I mean, eh. Beer cooler side. That's just the vanilla steel look. I mean, it could I, it could work, but what other options are there? Not a whole lot, <clears throat> as usual. Um. Well, okay. Black granite, metal riveted, black TV screen. Metal ventilation duct, metal plate wall. What's that look like? Eh, I'm not, uh, that's not doing a whole lot for me. There's metal steel floor. There's a metal tread plate that we used in the other room. It's all rusty looking though. What does beer cooler side look like? See, now that's, that's not really grody looking and it's definitely metal. Um, okay. Why don't we, this might actually work. Okay. And look halfway decent. That's not showing up out here, is it? No. Oh, it paints with the damage. <laughs> Makes it easier to see it, though. Uh, actually, no, those blocks are coming out of there. And I think I want these to paint all sides. That way it's got the metal metallic look on the outside too. Let's do those blocks as well. Um, this might show up on the other side of whatever's on the other side of that wall, but we can fix that later. This I don't want necessarily to show up on the other side. So let's just do this side here. Okay. Now we're going to do something a little different here on the floor. Let's go back to what does this tread plate look like? Okay. It's kind of rusted looking versus the other stuff, which is this tread plate. Not really that much better looking. A little bit, maybe. Yeah, I think I prefer this over the, the more rusty looking. And for the, the ceiling, we're going to use this. Okay. Um, now, um, let's take D 
these blocks out here. Now this is, um, we're going to put bulletproof glass in there. Uh, so let's go make a couple of panes of that. Where do we do that in? Probably here. Oops. Bulletproof glass lock. Let's make two of those. Metal mesh and glass. Okay, let's grab some of this, more of that concrete out of there for repairing. All right, now for the top <coughs> top of this, um, we could we could go with this again. Oh, not quite what I had in mind. It doesn't look terrible though. I want to put this. Back, <coughs> excuse me, back to the cabinet thing. Uh, we want to make sure it's not on. Oh, hold on. I thought I turned this off. There. Okay. Uh, so we have some drawers down there. And then on the top here, we could make this look like something else. Like this galvanized look, maybe? No. Um... This is where weapons would be checked in and out. You know, that's kind of the idea here. Yes, I know. I'm the only living human in the apocalypse besides that crazy guy that flies the plane, which never makes any sense. <laughs> well, the assumption, I think, is that, uh, that we know, <clears throat> there's a, somewhere in the world humans have are surviving and sending supplies to somebody. But, yeah, anyway, let's not get into that conversation. Um, what else could we put down here? What's something that would kind of look like a rubber mat? See that? I kind of like that. That doesn't look terrible. Here, while we're at it, let's get the rest of this stuff repaired. There must have been a, a cop explosion in here. There's no reason for the those blocks to be damaged unless it happened on the next floor. Steel plating? That's an actual steel block, huh? Okay. We're just gonna pretend this is all these are all steel blocks. Okay, this is sort of okay. Maybe. Let's run with it for now unless I, I change my mind and then I guess the idea here is, yeah, I kind of like those centered. That one of these windows, you know, can slide open unless, oh, you know what? I never looked to see what other shapes we might have with that. Here, let's just do this. Um, bullet, whoops. Bulletproof glass plate centered. Let's grab two of those out of the creative. And... Curved plate. No, okay. I was wondering if, <clears throat> excuse me, if they'd give us like, you know, half half blocks or, or quarter, you know, quarter cutouts, that sort of thing, so we could make an opening, but it doesn't look like that option's there. Okay, so we're we're good with the way that it is. So yeah, we just have to imagine that this can be opened up and slid over like a you know a sliding glass window at a drive-in kind of idea for weapons to be checked in and out. Very cool. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go grab our weapons racks. And remember, I don't have all of the pieces that I need, so we're just gonna use 
um, some of them for as placeholders. Uh, so we have one actual gun rack that we found. We have some equipment racks. And what if we also brought some shelves in there? I'm just looking to see what else I have in here that we grabbed. It might look cool. Okay. Um, maybe let's grab a couple of these shelves. These are more like, I think, for hardware. I'm not sure what's on that one, so let's just grab it too. Okay, so the gun racks. How about if we place those on this wall? So we'll have one there and one here when we can loot the other one. And this is a, a storage container that we can actually put guns in. Okay, and then for the armor and equipment, we'll put those there, but there's two, there, there's another type of rack here that has, um, uh, like ammo clips and things like that on it. So when we, when, when we can loot that, we'll put those in there instead. So again, those are just placeholders. Okay. Now we have some shelves. And it might look cool to put these down below, except for, again, it, can we, we can't change these, can we? In terms of what they are. I mean, saw blades inside of an armory? It's kind of weird. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's not... I like the idea. What about the shelf? No, not really. I like the idea of it, but it, they're not the right, it's not really the right kind of material that you would find in an armory, I don't think. Let's see if our friend, the creative menu, can help us with some of this. So those are just called shelf. Whoops. Good Lord. Shelf. Okay. We got a lot to choose from here. So let's see. This is shelf, shelf, shelf. Well, it looks like it has some alcohol on it. That has like some WD-40 and some oil. That would kind of make sense for, um, you know, for cleaning weapons and stuff. Yeah, I like that. And again, we have more storage in those too. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do, you guys. A shelf is a shelf is a shelf, right? And so, well, it still has a saw blade on it, but whatever. Um, maybe, maybe it's a grinder blade that we use to modify weapons. A shelf is a shelf is a shelf. In the real world, it's just whatever you put on it. So for each one I pull out of the creative menu, we'll just toss one of these. And I can always find more of those later. Well, actually, I can probably make the shelves, can't I? I did loot these for specific purposes. Didn't I see an option to make a shelf in one of these menus? Not in the workbench. How about in the artisan's table? Huh. Is it the furniture block? Cabinets and cupboard. Oh, right here. Metal furniture. Okay. And... Can we, right, okay. So I'll just make a, 
I'll just make a shelf for each one that I pull out of the creative menu to pay for it. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay. So here, that one we'll just toss. Well, actually, maybe we, we might want to put an empty one in there too. Okay, so let's go back into the creative menu here. All right, what else? What else could we maybe do? What's that got on it? That's an upper shelf. That's a pharma shelf. Okay. Yeah, I was looking for these, so we'll we'll make use of those. Trash, trash. No, we don't want anything with trash on it. That's got electronics on it, which will look kind of weird in a... Ooh, what's that? Oh, yeah, that's electronics too. Oh, why won't that go in there? Oh, because it's a too high. Ah, oh, gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Well, that could be a thing. There's also these shelves here, but those are that's really more for clothing. All right. I'm not I can't quite tell what that is. Oh, just more electronics. Okay. I wish they w would all kind of describe what they have on them like, you know, the trash ones do, but they don't. Um, What is that? That's food, like old, yucky, gross flour. Okay. What about this one? Yeah, same thing, grocery, grocery store shelf. Okay. It's very hard to see exactly what's on these. Okay. Those are upper shelves. Those are the pharma shelves. That's the trash shelves. Those are all electronic shelves, I believe. All right, well, I guess there's not as many of those to choose from as I thought there would be. So maybe what we'll we'll do is we'll just uh do this. Um We'll just put an empty shelf there, I suppose. Uh, cuz oh, we can't store anything in it though. Crap. Okay, whatever. Uh we'll put that shelf there. I want to put a store an actual storage thingy down here we can't put anything here because it's that block wall space is taking up that area um in fact we could do we could do like either a big storage chest down there or we could do maybe one of the safes oh you know what there was that metal cabinet too wasn't there I kind of liked that. It was sort of like um, a filing cabinet, but it could be like a gun closet kind of idea. Um, so where did we find that? Here. Secure steel lockers. That looks like it's going to take a one by two space or maybe a two by two. And we don't have enough steel. Well, we have we actually do have more steel. We just have to turn it into plates. Well, you know what? Before I commit, let's look at it first of all in the creative menu to make sure we can find a place to fit it. Let's try this one and this one. Yeah, I kind of like that.
Yeah, we're not going to be able to put it in here, though. There's no place to put it. Because, remember, we're going to get put the other gun rack up there. Okay, so, yeah, that's that isn't going to work. Well, not for in here. I mean, my plan is to to put the ammo tables out here and make the ammo, so we could maybe put put it out here. But let's wait until we get to that point before we mess with that too much. Okay, so let's go look at... Um, there's these small steel safes, uh, they, they go into the wall. Um, that one would stick out, which would be kind of odd. Hmm. That's kind of cool looking. How much storage space does this have? Decent amount. Okay, well, um, let's go with this for now and I'll make, I'll make two of those to pay for them. Um, Let's just go with that for now. I might change my mind later, though, but we'll see. All right. Now, right up here, we could put a one-block storage something or other. I'm just trying to see what I have in here already. Oh, yeah, we have the munitions box. Let's grab that. We have a tool chest. Let's grab one of those just for the heck of it. Um, we don't want these for now. What was on this shelf? More tool items. Yeah, I want to save that for our for our mechanic shop that we're gonna make. I've got I've got some I more ideas for this floor. We're gonna we're gonna do. I wasn't necessarily originally planning on utilizing this entire floor, but now I think we will. Um, once this gets built up over here and we have this room, I'm probably going to make this corner of the building like a garage in a, in, a, in a workshop, mechanic shop. And, you know, because of that... We might even want to consider putting the elevators on that side. The only problem with putting the elevators on that side, though, is that all of our crafting and storage is in here. So, but this hallway here, this is going to stay open and we can use it to drive our vehicles over to the garage and then back out to the elevator. So, yeah, so much fun stuff we can do here, guys. Um, lots more to come. All right. Anyway, let's get back on track here. So this guy, what we could do with it, now that's designed to be on the floor though, huh? That looks a little silly putting it up there. What we could do is put it in this corner here or in this corner here. And we have all that storage space in there. Me likey. Me likey. Yes, indeed, I do. Okay. It's starting to look like an armory in here, ladies and gentlemen. Um. All right, so I was going to do one more storage thingy. Um, let me look in here again. Can we make a single block steel or titanium storage? Yes, we can. Um, we need a tier three workbench to make the titanium 
version of that, though. We can make a steel. All right. Let's go ahead and do that. How many of these can I make? 176? No, I don't want to make that many. Let's make, say, 50 for the time being. That is really cool, man. I love it. Oh, you know what else we should do is we should put some cameras up. Do I have any cameras? If I did, they would be in here. Uh -uh. Okay, so those we probably make in here, I'm guessing. Okay, let's scrap that. We might upgrade it later on to a, a titanium. I got the mats. I just don't have the workbench for it. And the reason for that, in case you're curious, is because I'm, I haven't come across another nail gun, and I don't want to use the only nail gun I have to create the upgrade for this. It is... Yeah, see? I, I've got an extra impact driver, so we're good to go there. The rest of this is relatively easy to come by but I just don't want to use my one and only nail gun so we'll eventually come across one or you know what I you know what I could actually do I could probably just use my nail gun to re research a nail gun and then make two yeah um, we should consider that. It'll take 400 research data. This needs to broadcast. We have 624. Okay, well, I'm not going to do that right this moment, but that's something we should consider for sure. Doesn't this look good in here? I love it. It almost makes me makes us feel like uh, we're not in the apocalypse anymore until we look out the window. <laughs> okay. Let's grab this. Only works with my handprint. Okay, I want... That's going to float, isn't it? Eh, man. Oh, you know what, though? We could put... Well, we could fix that by taking those blocks out and putting regular blocks in. But if we're going to go that high anyways, we, we should really do the two storage. Why don't we... You know, why don't we nix the idea of the safes, the wall safes, at least for down here. And because we can put much larger capacity storage down here instead. Uh, so let's do this. Let's pick this back up too. And we will put you there and we'll put the munitions box here. Okay. Kind of too bad we couldn't put something there, but we can't. And then we could put a, a larger storage box up there. I mean, this has a decent amount of slots in it. This, not so much. But remember, all of these have their own storage, too. Okay. Um, I'm liking the way this is coming together. This is not necessarily the final configuration in here. Um... Uh, because we need to we need to find the, the the second type of gun rack and we need to find the racks that have like the ammo and stuff on it for here. But it's it's a pretty good start, I think. Pretty darn good start. So I'm thinking um we'll put like maybe a video camera in the corner here to watch the door. And then the idea for out here is we will uh, put in our ballistics table, and I might do two ballistic tables just so we can double our ammo production. And do I have an old? No, I, I wouldn't have an old one because they're all upgraded now. Is there anything in here? 
Shotgun shells. We like shotgun shells. Let's pick this up now. Um, and let's grab all of this stuff. We're going to pick up the disassembly station and put that over here. Disassembly station. Where did you go? I just picked you up. Um, right here. I don't know why my eyeballs weren't seeing that. Okay, so that can go there. Now, I'm going to put two ballistics tables in here. So we'll put one there and we'll put a second one here. I'll pick that back up and, and repaint it. Um, so that way we can get some good ammo production. Oh, we got to fix this. Uh, we can get some good ammo production going. There we go. Okay. Um, that one actually needs to be fixed, too. Well, here, I'll worry about that later. So, we'll put a second ballistics table here. And, um... I'm just thinking, um... We're, because we're going to be, you know, making armor in here too what did i do with the tailor station oh we put that in our office yeah let's pull that out of the office and i'd rather have it over in the armory where we're actually making armor so we'll pick that up there And let's see. We're going to do the other ballistics there. I don't really like it right there. So probably right here. Yeah, that could work. And then we'll have, um, you know, we'll put storage up here. I might actually take that out and raise everything up uh, to go along there. And we'll get it painted and fixed up, and that'll be where we'll make our am ammunition and our armor. Okay, uh, but we are out of time, guys. Uh, it took me a little bit longer to get this done than I thought, but this is looking pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, but uh, <laughs> I think it looks really awesome in here. Um, and so I need to get all of uh, our weapons and stuff move and our armor and all that moved over here and stored. So, so that'll probably, that'll be something I'll do off camera and let's talk about what's coming up in the next episode. So we, we got to finish this room in here, but we don't necessarily have to finish it immediately because I really want to get going on the update. But before we do the update, I want to get the elevators in place. And the reason for that, in case you're wondering is once we update, uh, to the latest version, we can no longer use our ladder system with a full load of stuff. So I want to make absolutely sure the elevator system is going to work. It should. I, I kind of tested it out on a test save, but I just want to make absolutely sure that that's going to work for us before we do the update uh, because there's no, I mean, there's not really going to be any easy way to go back once we, and I don't want to go back anyways. Um, so, yeah, I think we will focus on getting those elevators made in the next episode and getting them set up. And this is where they're, we're going to enter the building here. So the elevators will be set up down there and bring us up to here. Now, I'm going to use... My plan is to use three six-story elevators because that'll go all the way to the roof. We, I think we actually we'll have to actually put some blocks underneath it like one one or two layers of blocks to get it to go up in the roof we'll test all that and make sure it's working uh, but that way we can stop off on this floor and but we can also go all the way to the roof too if we need to for some reason okay guys well that is it for this episode hope you guys enjoyed if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode bye bye